so I guess let's begin the Wild Arms 2 playthrough. I have not seen very much of it. Why are you sighing about PS1, Rob? What's wrong with PS1? More media vision. They haven't transferred it or anything yet. Wild Arms is a registered trademark of Sony Computer Entertainment America. So we can see it came out in 2000. We're just going to double check for any movies, given that we just got burned. <laughs> Wild Arms 1 for missing a movie. So we'll let it play a little bit before we proceed. So not really sure what to expect out of this game. Never seen it played before. Uh, I wanted to double check something about the game before we started, but I guess we'll see how it goes. The use of silver kind of reminds me of Shadow Hearts to some extent. Not so much the blue outline of text. What is that? Is that like a Pikachu? What is that? Pika Ramen. It's apparently a Twitch global emote. Today I learned. Oh, is there no intro? We'll give it another we'll give it another minute just in case, but you know what? I'm I'm not surprised it's Cup Ramen. Small tangent before we begin Wild Arms 2. They have they have a big exception like obsession with uh what is it? Cup of noodles. Especially with specifically tied into games. I don't understand why. I remember I was watching a fighting game tournament where they had a giant cup of noodles on stage, bowing with the winners of a competition. I believe it was for Guilty Gear. And they also had stacks of cup of noodles with, uh, <clears throat> I think it was like Sephiroth was on one of them. Because they had many Final Fantasy crossovers for some reason. But anyway, I guess we'll proceed. I guess there's no opening video. I think we gave it a good courtesy couple minutes. Make an easy snack, you can make it quickly, go back into gaming. <laughs> I think so. Hmm. Oh, it's checking our memory card. We'll say it's okay to start a new game. So, it has less options than the first game for some reason. I guess we'll start a new game. Oh, there we go. Welcome, Calvisha. So excuse me, it isn't Wild Arms 2, it's Wild Arms Second Ignition. All right, so we have our character select, a young man ready for action, a sorceress just getting started, a former hero, now war criminal. Chat, who would you like for us to start as? It clearly wants us to start with this character, but chat can make their own rules. You could be your own individual chat. Oh, immediately for the girl. 
Damn, Rob was like, snap call. Something weird about young man's face. Yeah. I, okay, so we'll, we'll do the girl first. So a sorceress just getting started. Full moral power? Maybe. Palace Village? Well, what about payment? Works don't work for free, you know. Magic Kazam! Magic Kazam, indeed. I'm not gonna lie, chat. This font is, like, really hard to read. Like, look at the word don't. That is, like, a mess of letters. Hmm. Yeah, that font is... Hmm. I don't think D's and O's should look that similar. I'll be real with you. Gotta be more worried about a merc who works for free. You got that right. <laughs> what are you laughing about, you old geezer? Oh no, they have sound effects on every Windows box. Uh, please tell me I could turn that off. Bill Jelder says, Let's stay on the subject, okay? We must plan a counterattack. Well, that one was quiet at least. Dot to 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 dot before we get names. So we're apparently, quote, mysterious girl. Oh dear, yeah, exactly. Wow, Blue Donna actually on point for once. Sorry, sorry, sorry for being late. We oops in, yeah. Haven't quite got the knack of this teleport gem. For a minute, I thought I teleported to the wrong place again. Uh-oh. This isn't the Valeria household, is it? I knew it. Excuse me, but who are you anyway? See, I, <laughs> is it bad that when I saw her name, I immediately thought Laika instead of Loka? Darn you, Tales of Destiny 2. So anyway, chat, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters? Oh, uh, that's a little unconventional. Normally, you normally see like 8, maybe 12, 16, 9. So there you go, Chan. You gotta name the character. If we're going with Suikoden in references, she would be Vicky. But if you want to name her, well, the only thing we really know about her, she's got a teleport gem. She oops into the room. She's a novice sorceress. Technically, we can name her things like Faux Marl, too. Although, Chan, I'm gonna point out one thing that I know is gonna make everybody sad. We lost the star symbol, the gender symbols, and the random brackets. Ever watch Slayers? Nope. Nine is weird. I wonder how they store not name to give nine characters, such as how much room there is. Yeah, I mean, I imagine they took something and they're splitting it. But then it's like, why did they end up with an extra? I guess maybe they had an extra character since they don't have the junk symbols now. Is that what it is? We lost the symbols for uh, one extra character. My first thought was the name was Calica from East Celsetta. Oh no. So there we go, Chan. We got to come up with a name. Although, amusingly, we could put numbers in the name for no reason. I'm not sure why we would ever need to put numbers in a name, but they're there, I guess. Misty for Mysterious Girl, or Vicky for Oops. Hmm. I think both are pretty solid. But I'll give Chance another moment. Chan another moment, actually. So I'm gonna give to the time to decide. Girl 2. Honestly, I was also kind of thinking that one. <laughs> On the Clumsy Sorcerer's 3417. So think about it, Chan. Come to an agreement. I'm just gonna refill my water. But yeah, this is always the hard part. This is where the real majority of the playthrough takes place. Making a decision. So be right back.
If he's saying 20 hours of gameplay, five of which are character creation, girl second. Hmm. I was gonna say, I think I get I think girl two is catching on based off of what Chad is saying. Let's go with Gilka. Gurka, there you go. Oh, girl three, oh, oh it's, hold on, we're not in Wild Arms three. We call her girl two. <laughs> so just just to confirm, Chad, do you want to call this character girl two? Interestingly, there's a reset button. thinking all those stupid things you can add to the name like two girl for you <laughs> with the number four Murphy has no strong feelings one way or another we'll give Chad a moment or two and then we'll go there so final call is this the name we're going with I just need to see basically a yes, and we'll continue. It's enough space, I think the simple name is better. Okay, we got a yes. Okay, let's continue with girl two. Oh boy, I messed up again. But at least... I came to a place where everyone seems so nice. I know we should hurry, but I guess there's no harm in resting here for a while. Did you meet at the middle of the table? <laughs> What's weird is how they dump that stuff on rice to eat it. Oh no. That's just so gross. Right? <laughs> Ma'am, this is our dinner table. Yeah, exactly. Try this warm treat. Mmm. There, do you feel better now? Sorry about the way I acted. I was just so nervous. I just can't get the hang of the teleport gem, you know. Not am used for moving around. I mean, isn't that by definition? Okay. I'm studying magic. This one item just seems to have it in for me or something. Wow! You know how to use magic? Actually, I'm still learning. Wow! I'm so impressed! Oh, don't be impressed. Anyone, you, anyone can use magic, you know. You mean even I can learn magic? Of course you can! For instance, you can pick out a loved one's voice, or your own name in a noisy room. That's a kind of magic too, get it? Wow, ask for a refund. <laughs> no, I don't get it. No? Oh. But you will someday. Magic is a power that anyone can use. <laughs> like Rob's saying here, let me teach you the spell to blow up your house. Explains why you're still learning, says Murphy. What, says the guardian angel? And magic can do anything. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh no, the wiggle wobbles. We wiggle wobbled into a white screen. Hmm. Millennium puzzle. Oh, I didn't know she was Yugi. Oh, this would have been, this would have been pertinent information. Wild Arms too. Oh, sis, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Go to the Shadow Realm, girl too. I don't know what to do. I can't figure it out all all alone. Rob saying magic is the courage that turns reality into dreams. Oh no. 
girl two sister damn chat imagine being so unimportant you're only known by your affiliation to another person that's brutal calm down it'll be okay hey don't cry can you see the big switch block behind you use your magic on it it'll be all right i know you can do it Bonk. I can't do it. I won't lie or say anything. Won't lie or say anything. What? I'm not good at it like you are, sis. I, I'm not sure what that line meant. <laughs> didn't you fail to control the gate? Because you didn't do it right, sis. Us? There you go. Try starting over. This time the door should open. Dark magician girl. He yeah, has something like that. Open! Come on, open up! Dot, 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 dot. This time I'll show you a different method. It'll be fine. This way is easy. So why didn't you show me this from the start? Well... See the... <laughs> she didn't answer the question. See the small switch block just below where you are. Use the same method to get your magic to work. No, not a safe crystal. Hey, sis, look, it worked this time. Rob pointing out that it is a trope for a lot of female protagonists to cry at the beginning of a game. Um, I think at least in Wild Arms 1 that didn't happen, at least. There are three switch blocks left. You need to get all of them. Leave the rest to me. I can manage this. Let's review how to handle a fire rod. I would have called her like Pyra. <laughs> but she had the fire rod. You press square, your magic turns to a flame and can fire in front of you. Are you okay, girl two? There you go, chat. Just shoot the Millennium Eye laser. It'll be fine. I know I'm fine. This is a piece of cake. So we have girl. She's got FP. What pray tell is FP? So we're sea sorceress is our class. Oh yeah, we never upgraded class in the original game. I wonder if that'll ever be important. So we have parry percentage, magic resistance, defense attack, response, sorcery, vitality, strength, luck, personal skills, PS point one. So I guess PS is personal skill. I still don't know what FP is, but presumably it's the super gauge. Oh no, 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 no. It's uh our magic points. Makes sense, I guess. I don't remember it ever be. I guess maybe it was called FP and I never noticed in the other game. FP is feminine power or flower power. Man, it keeps here to stop vote well for the game puzzle. Maybe. Ah, uh, so she has the same ability as Wild Arms 1 with Mystic, where we can unlock the true potential of an item. And we have custom commands. Okay. Let's go to. Okay, it's in stereo. Hmm, I don't think I have any problems with the controls. I would want the compass on. I think... Battle, command, neutral, or fixed. Maybe it means... Maybe I want fixed. Crystal location, remember. I don't want to adjust the screen. We've got a screensaver. We just screen screensaver for like, fi like five seconds or something. If I just hold still, is it going to play or something? Or is it minutes? Was that was that minutes instead of seconds? In which case, number one, I don't think we're going to see it. Oh, we can design our window again. Oh, no. We are, we are given so many different commands that we could do. It's on a scale of 1 to 31? Or 0 to 31? What a choice. 
So I guess if chat ever wants to just customize it, it's there. Yeah, it's like... I kind of like Type A the most still, but if chat has any preferences, let me know. Or if you want to come up with some crazy RGB values. I kind of like the defaults. Normally I like to kind of mess around with it, but honestly... Adds one continue chance? Heal Berry heals 500 in this game. That's way better than what it was in the other game. I think it was 200 in the other, if I remember correctly. We cannot remove the Mumbrella. Yeah, I was looking to see if we could change the font, to be honest, too. Uh, so we can turn on the manual battle there. There's also f the ability to swap the party. Maybe we're getting more than three characters. Yeah, I don't see anything regarding, like, font speed, font color, font size, etc. Oh, is that what the compass does? <laughs> Fell with a fit. It's funny. Oh, do we have, like, fully free... Oh, we do have fully 3D movement. Come to the edge of the floor, above a drop, your character may make the oops action. In the, in the oops state, you could press X to go down and jump down. Okay. You can also jump down by dashing off an edge without the oops action. Okay. I was looking to see if there was a jump button, but it's just the dash button in this game. Do so we have dash by default? So yeah, they made it definitely more 3D. What happens if I interact with this? Girl 2. What is it, sis? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Be careful. I'm assuming that... Did this actually change anything, or did it just mess with my camera? It's an unusual object. It's called the save point. It records your adventure. Oh, that's the save point, not the other thing? This amazing stone has the power to save your adventure to a memory card. Sure, we'll save our game. Gotta check the memory card chat. That is really hard to tell the height of an object, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so it won't let me just walk. Off an edge, I could dash off an edge. I could do stuff like this. So they definitely don't want you just accidentally falling. Oh no. There's a- why are there so many teleports? Oh, there are battles here. Interesting. Uh... So instead of going over the character, they put it on the side. Original powers. We don't have any MP. Sorry, Gum. So I took damage, and it builds up MP? Huh. Not how I would have thought that would have worked. Because now I should be able to heal, right? If I want to? Interesting. Heal, not fringe. Yeah, we called it fringing. 
I'm gonna heal preemptively because they go first. So they combined MP with the super gauge. I don't know if I like that. Hmm. Well, I guess on the plus side, I basically have like max meter. If I want to just start using spells, I can. Our damage is hilariously terrible. We've hit this thing like three times and we haven't killed a single one yet. We still have yet to kill a single one. Let's uh, freeze them, I guess. Let's hope we do a little more damage. Man, the fact that we're getting outsped so hard really sucks. The goofy face. Alright, so that's almost four times what we need. Is it even taking away from our FP at all? Or do we just have infinite because it's a tutorial? I'm glad I healed there. I could have died actually in the tutorial had I not done this. Because if it did that attack again, I would just perish. So I don't have any custom combos. Might as well as burn him. So I'm hoping I keep this gauge in between battles that I don't have to build up for spells every time I fight. That's what I'm worried about. If I... Oh. Well, apparently he's got a resistance to flame. Kinda sucks to find out that way, but okay. So I'm curious, like, do I always... Because I'm, I'm not gonna use the FP according to that. And it did show that I had the FB gauge in between. So I'm hoping I can kill this thing and keep it. Uh, let's witness. Yeah, the game feels much slower than wild. It actually attacked me in the transition. Wow. Oh, it resets every time. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, no. So I can't use spells outside of combat now? Seriously? Oh, that is not a good chat. That is not a good choice. That was the whole point of the MP system was I could heal up between battles. <clears throat> yeah, I'd have to use items. Oh, that is not good. Yeah, I thought it would at least keep you with the meter. If it kept you with the meter, I wouldn't care. Uh, what are these? Yep, Jen says sparkling jewels of life to restore lost HP. <clears throat> Jeff's heal all members of the party, but the amount restored depends on the size of the gem. So this is how they want me to heal outside of combat? Why though? That feels really unneeded. Okay. okay, chat, we gotta do the <clears throat> standard thing that I always do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right, chat? Like, you. okay, at least escape seems to work in this game. That's a good sign. So I just went in a big circle. Oh boy, we're starting the game off with... 3D platforming and teleport mazes. That is a, <clears throat> as we like to say, a bold choice. Makes sense I moved that one. I should have seen that coming too.
At least they make it harder to accidentally fall off, I guess. I aim diagonal. Good. I mean, I'm making progress, but dot dot dot. So I'm up here. I can fall down here. Uh huh. Thankfully, it collects the crystals when you have full HP. Yeah, unfortunately, so I can't heal there. Oh boy, that was all just to get one of those cubes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so many rooms for a single cube. Holy. Sis, what happens when I get it to respond? When all the switch blocks respond, the partially open gate gets reset. I can manage that. Oh, excuse me. I can manage that even with my level of magic skills. Right. Good luck, girl, too. The two switch blocks remain. Yeah, we. this is the boldest of RPG starts we've seen so far. Joke's on you, game. I don't play it on leveling at all, unless you were going to force me to. Bye. Listen, chat, you know what? Oh, there we go. Failed to escape. So if I get hit again, I'm gonna heal. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna ice him. At least the enemy variety is good. Rob with the little tee hee joke. I might as well just kill them now because I want to heal. Since I can't heal with magic outside of combat, or else I would. Let's kill one of these, heal up. And then we'll move on. Bicycle disaster! is Icicle Disaster. I'm not a fan of how slow the spell animations are. Okay, so we'll heal. So I don't need to worry about this, and we just ice him next turn. I don't need to be at, like, full, full health, but I'd like to not be below half. So hopefully he does not just randomly slap me in the face with something. Worse. That's exactly what I did not want him to do. Unfortunate. We have a 1% chance to dodge melee. I guess I should have checked to see how much I need to level, just so we could see if it full heals you. We achieve level 2. Heal berry acquired. Okay, so the game is at least dropping some items. Now, did that heal us? Question mark. No. In fact, it didn't even... It didn't even improve our current HP. So, like, we gained... What is it? 15 HP, but we didn't go up to, like, 58 out of 75. That's kind of a... That's what we like to call a rude level-up system. I see I start with more FP based off my level. I'm assuming I do this to raise it again. There we go, I'm puzzling chat. There's a warp there. Assuming the one that takes more time to get to is where we gotta go. <laughs> Picked up one crystal and it's like, fight! So in three more levels, we get to potentially heal outside of combat? Probably. Fortunately, now I can't book burn. I might as well just fight this to see how hard it is to kill. Took 50... break? Okay, I was worried it was using, like, Petrify versus just Earth Elemental damage. Yeah, it feels really awkward that I have to gain more levels just to heal once outside of combat. I mean, I'm assuming we're just gonna do some book burning. The true weakness of books, chat. Take that knowledge. 
Also, the fire spell was much faster than ice. She's gonna get a concussion, I think so. Yes, yeah, the the sacred art of sorcery where you fight magical books and just get domed in the face by them for some reason. Not sure I like the full rotation of 3D here, but we'll find out. Okay, I just wanted to witness what this actually did. I guess I could kind of see which ones are activated by the switch. They do have a slightly different color to them. Okay. I was gonna say, I hope there's more than this. 39 to level, okay. Oh? So I did see a little exclamation mark that time. Um, I remember these enemies being really annoying. I would like to not fight these if I can. Is there anything like the Wild Arms one? Damn. Okay, good. We're out of there, chat. <laughs> I'm not scared of a book, but jellyfish potentially st like paralyzing us? No, thank you. Did I go in a big circle? Or oh, it's it, they just reused the same room, but they made a different exit. Okay. That's definitely not confusing. So, what was the point of this? Was there another path I could have taken? So it does seem like there's a little indicator when random battles are about to occur, I think. So what did I miss in the other area? Hmm. Was I supposed to drop down? Do a normal attack. At least we know the book is kind of a pushover. I'm not sure how I feel about the combat menu so far in this game. The other menu was a little awkward sometimes because you gotta like hold the direction and press it, but it also was more intuitive than this menu. Even if it was a little awkward. Hmm. There we go, we're making progress. All right, only one switch block left. You did really well. I'm the little sister of the one called the Elinac Witch Girl. This was nothing. I'm me and you are you. We're different. Yeah, you're the sister. You need to believe in yourself more. Girl too. From now on, you need to believe in the magic that is yours alone. No matter how hard things get, to be able to overcome it with your magic. This puzzle in my brain is nothing. Gama needs more judgment rings and will foul, it's true. Huh? What? Finding faults now? Later? Leave it till later. If I could do things with my magic, I'll listen to anything. Her sister has two titles, but no name. Yeah, that's kind of awkward. Hmm. I imagine we do something like this. 
I I'm assuming this is just pick a path. What is... What is the point of this room? Okay. At least the encounter rate seems low. Even if it's RNG encounters, it's already way less abusive than the other game. So that'll raise that one. I don't know if that'll impact the other rooms or not. So upper... Oh, it just defeated... So maybe red means I can't avoid it, but if it's like... If it's a weaker encounter, I get some chances with it. We'll still try to run here. I don't think melee is even worth doing anything. But the possibility of skipping the whole combat is more important. <laughs> for skipping the combat. I mean, we'll focus more on levels once she groups up with somebody. Don't get me wrong. Do I have to be memorizing the number of stacks of the pillars? Really hope not. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the compass on because otherwise I will get confused. We can fall down here. Uh, I mean, if each of those is supposed to represent an element, maybe I have to go to bottom left. Don't mind me. We're taking a shortcut. Pick a path. So I'm assuming this one will be fire one oh, and we could do something. That one I don't feel like it have an indicator. I saw a couple where it looked like it is. So maybe if there's like a lot of enemies, I can't normally run away from it. Maybe that's how it works, so like weak encounters I can run away from. Otherwise I have to escape them in battle. I'm guessing that's how the mechanic works. No. Okay, I officially don't know what it wants me to do. So I don't see anything to interact with. I can't do anything by rubbing into that. I'm gonna fall off. There's only one I didn't go to, I guess. Teleport again. I don't like that it messes with my camera when I fall off. So, I saw an exclamation mark, but I'm not sure. Oh, I surprised them. Okay, so if I press X to dash, I can get a surprise attack. So there is kind of like a pay attention to the character mini game going on, but I don't avoid the encounter, which is unfortunate. Okay. I managed to avoid the gems that time, which is good. I don't, I don't know what it wants me to do. There's no blocks. Unless I could push this. No. Hmm. Am I missing a block in the main room? I only saw two blocks in the main room. Hmm. Well, chat, I am officially confused. Like, does it matter if this one is on or not? I would have thought it was like trying to teach me an order to hit them, but I can't interact with this at all. So what's the, what are the point of these rooms? Is there something I'm not seeing? Cause it's just like, Teehee, we made it 3D. Hope you find the right camera angle. Is that what's happening? Hmm. You're wide open. Thank you, Glorious Dawn, for the follow. I would prefer not to do this encounter, as that's a lot of damage coming our way.
Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, chat. This is the first time in a while I actually just genuinely don't know what the game wants me to do. So is there is there something I'm missing elsewhere before this point? So we have four platforms that I can get on, but I don't see anything to do in them. We have a final area which looks like if I solve the puzzle of the four, then I could do something. I don't know if the order of this matters. But in all scenarios, I didn't see anything to interact with in any of the rooms. Like, does this matter? So if I just tell them to go to full length, what happens? Okay, so we at least found something to interact with, but it's in this room. Okay. That's step one. Do I have to memorize the height of each of them? Don't see what this did to this room, if anything. I would really prefer not to get into this encounter. David Felt says one red, three green, blue, two yellow. Is chat trying to tell me the solution? So I can manipulate the height of those. I thought I did three green unless the other is, unless it went to four. Guess we'll find out in a moment. So it didn't seem to do anything, but it probably has to match exactly. Okay, so maybe we don't go back to the other room. The other room is just to figure out the number puzzle here. Just really tedious. Oh, chat. Why is this the first dungeon in the game? So many questions. So anyway, well, I guess since chat spoiled it, I guess I'll... Why, why didn't you let me fall? One second. I'm assuming it just wants me to jump off when it's that height. It's like almost like a timing minigame too. There we go. Uh... That's fine. No worries, Steven. Yeah, that just saved me some backtrack time, at least. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to interact. See, I didn't really, I didn't step on the step. I guess I didn't step on it directly before. I went near it, but I didn't step on it the first time. <laughs> Again, this is very much a choice. To start your game. Sis! Sis, where are you, sis? I can't leave the gate of the Millennium Puzzle like this. Soon you'll be linked to the world you came from, so don't worry. Sis, you... Say... Mm. Promise. Uh... On to girl two. I can't hear you, sis. Sis? Uh-oh, the wiggle wobbles. You can do anything with magic if you use it right. Did she just have, like, an intense flashback in the middle of having a conversation with them? Is that what her takeaway was? She wasn't just whisked away there? I like to think she was just staring into space for, like, 15 minutes. Father! 
Oh, darling, what's the matter? Did you come up with the plan? No, we're stumped. Go figure, eh? I'm sorry. You seem to be bothered by something. I can help if you want. Can you tell me what's wrong? Well, for the past few days... Peace Fumble Village has been attacked nightly by monsters. The villagers have not been harmed. They live in fear of the night. Tonight's meeting was to discuss the monster problem. Let me help, please. Are you an ancient Egyptian pharaoh, exactly? What can a girl like you do? Daddy, she knows how to cast magic spells. Just leave everything to me. Your troubles are over. You mean they've just begun? No. <laughs> wow, they have the little emoticon in there. There we go. There you go, chat. Colon dash frowny face. <laughs> Okay. Mercs are an adventure and are adventurers that explore ancient ruins, not monsters for bounty. They'd be perfect for a job like this. Exactly, chat. <laughs> Those scary monsters only attack the wheat fields. At least someone in the village has been harmed so far. But my dad is out patrolling to make sure those monsters don't try anything. Is he fucking titled Trail of the Comet? Isn't that a reference to, um... Lovecraft? Do you want to read it? Sure. Leaving through the stars is a comet with its long tail. But do you know the difference between a comet and a meteor? A meteor is a meteoroid that is drawn by gravity into the atmosphere. A comet, unlike a star, travels in a fixed orbit and appears at regular intervals. Steeped in mystery, comets have inspired many folk tales. Some superstitions claim comets to be bad omens, but no one knows why. No one knows why, chat. Yeah. Yeah, I know Lovecraft did it like, uh, I think it was called like Shadow of the Comet, but they always talked about like the trails of the comet. I guess it could be unrelated, just was reminded of that randomly. Okay, so I'll prefer not to rotate the, rotate the camera too much. Memory service, I can store records of your adventure on a memory card. Okay. So we're gonna have to talk to a lot of people potentially in future towns to determine whether or not we could save. Door is locked. Is locked. Everything locked. Hmm. Just harvesting the all important wheat that the village economy depends on. Granary is chock full of wheat we harvested. Can we interact with the. No, we can't. Okay. Monsters always come from the northeast. Northeast is an unlucky direction. Bad things always come from the northeast. Guess where the granary and palace village is? Right in the northeast part of town. Hmm. Don't see any hidden items. I'm interacting with the boxes in case we could do anything with them. The other game had like a million hidden items, but so far not finding anything. It was about, yes, exactly a week ago that the village was first attacked. Remember it well because we were busy harvesting the palace wheat. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not... So unless we can blow these up later with another item, I'm not receiving any prompts. Nor am I getting items when I interact with them. Okay. 
I know how to use magic too. I'm gonna be like you. I'll work hard, I won't ever give up. Ever. Oh. Okay, you don't want me to go that way, that's fair. Thou shalt not explore on your own. But <laughs> she can bonk. That's amazing. Bonk. Hmm. So some buildings are open, but just the building we came from. Just want to check one thing before we go further. I didn't interact with any of this. Nope. Okay. So they are talking about the monster attacks. We aren't allowed to go through the exit of town. We go out this way. Are you going to complain again? Oh, you're going to complain. I can't go in the inn. Finish harvesting all important... Da, 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 we talked about that guy. So what building do you want me to go to? Oh, we were going to go to the granary, which is, quote, in the northeast. According to this guy. Or the other guy, I mean. So sadly, we can't interact with any of these doors. It looks like there's some kind of identification thing. Hmm... Can't go in here. We tried this place already. Is there anything else to interact with? We know that's a save station. Just want to make sure I didn't like miss this door or something silly and I could go in it. Okay. So everything appears to be locked. We're not allowed to leave town. The father said they're having a meeting. So what door does it want me to use is the question. It could be something like I can't see it because I'm looking at the wrong camera angle. Since we've already traveled basically everywhere in this town. We talk to you. Hmm. Oh. Actually, I just thought. <laughs> I never actually- hold on. Let's go interact with them. Oh, okay, we can't burn them. This is an east one. Hmm. See, so, yeah, I would have thought because they were talking about the northeast, it wanted me to go to the northeast, but whenever I do that, they just complain. I know, I want to burn the village. Give me one second, chat. I know, I wish we could go full east. Yeah, because I was assuming when we were talking to this person that they wanted us to go to the wheat fields. Hmm. Kind of one of those things, I suppose. We talk to everybody. Like, do I have to repeatedly talk to somebody? Is that like, I'm just thinking about like, I, I thought we interacted with everybody, but I mean, it's possible I didn't talk to somebody arbitrarily. Like somebody along here. I know it eventually wants me to go outside to deal with the monster. I don't see anything here. Hmm. Yeah, like, I'm assuming I do need to pass the time. I thought it wanted me to talk to the people to do that. We can't use the inn. Talk to this guy a couple times. We try using the bed again. Yeah, because we have to solve their monster problem. I was following that part of the plot, but it's like... 
I just need the plot trigger to occur. So let's try to use the bed briefly. Advance time, because the things, they only attack at night. That's why people are on patrol. Nope. Go to sleep on the dining table again. I wish. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's like, I'm not sure what's not progressing the plot here. I th We've literally talked to everybody at this point. We talked to the save person. I'm not gonna save my game again. Let's count, chat, how many people I talked to. I talked to this person before. We know they come from the Northeast. What? Oh, what? What? Wait, wait we already talked to this guy though. What? <laughs> Why did I didn't talk to him again? Why? I feel like the game forgot I talked to him. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 no. We, I literally went in a circle. I did not miss this guy because he said they always attack in the northeast. Guess what part of town they're in? Right, the northeast. This was this guy. Okay, I think some plot flag didn't fire. What I, did, maybe it wanted me to talk to them in a certain order, and then I went back. Because I'm pretty sure I talked to everybody, and then we went inside, and then we talked to everybody. Well, not literally everybody again, but we did talk to many people. But anyway, Girl 2 says, Okay, let's sum up what we know, alright? The monsters aren't after the village or the villagers. They're after the weed harvest. No one has been hurt. The damage is limited to the wheat and the wheat field. Come to think of it, the monsters always appear in the northeast. Yes. They're back! The monsters! The monsters are attacking! They're after the granary! Hurry! Don't panic, just find some place safe to hide. Dot 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 dot. I'll take care of the monsters. With my magic. Young lady, give me a hand. Young lady, give me a hand? What? Who did she say that to? Uh-oh, chat. Not the 3D monster that we've been fighting in the Millennium Puzzle. You look pretty much the same. Boundless glutton monster... Olivier? It's not quite Oliver. Boss monsters can be attacked both at the body and the limbs. The body bears its name. The boss monster is defeated when the body reaches zero. Okay. Hmm. When a limb drops to zero, the boss is not defeated, but you are an experienced Singilla. Okay, right, so I could kill the limbs for more XP. Is that my takeaway? Bonk. Bufu? Don't boofoo all over me. I did it a pretty silly amount of damage. Well, it used ice. Let's try fire. Then I'll heal next turn. Ooh, that did reduce damage. Maybe parents just have really bad naming since their kids are named sister and girl too. It's true. So, I mean, I'm glad I got a level up for this, or else I think it would be kind of annoying. Force field kick. Okay. So I can afford to freeze him? So we have a frost using monster that's weak to freeze? Okay. Not what I would have thought. Yeah. It's going in for the kick chat. It, it, I like it just like the most stubby of kicks too. It's quite something. So I don't think I could really lose. It's just going to take a while.
Its leg seems incredibly tanky. Oh, it fell on its butt, so I guess I destroyed its legs. The big breath attack. I mean, it doesn't seem to be able to crit, so this feels pretty safe to just attack. So fortunately, we outspeed. We'll have to see if we can rename spells at any point in the game. I have a sad feeling... Oh. So the legs and the head have different resistances? Okay. That's fine. So maybe the thing that is breathing ice is now weak to fire? But its legs don't, so it was weak to ice. Okay. Let's hope this does damage. I like that even when I hit the wrong weakness, it still does about the same as our melee. Anyway, Chad, I don't think I could really speed this up with only one party member. This might take a while. Just don't miss menu. I like the concept of not liking cold feet. Like, I know I ran from some battles, but like, would another level really help? I guess I would have healed maybe one turn less. Depending on how the damage rolls are. Sadly, I think I gotta heal here. It seems to have like a, a decent-ish damage range. We essentially have infinite MP, so it's just how many d hits do I need to do? Oh, there we go. Oh, jeez. We made him explode. 100 XP acquired, 500 money acquired, level 3 acquired, big buried. Obtained. I guess that was worth XP. We did it. We beat them. Young lady, you drove them off all by yourself. That's amazing, young lady. You're incredible. Now your magic is powerful after all. Oh, excuse me. Wow, your magic is powerful after all. So, it was your magic, eh? I said, yeah, V for victory, sucker. This has to be a translation thing. There's no, there is no, I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe this is what she said in Japanese. V for victory, maybe, but sucker like that? No way, I don't believe it. <laughs> this translation is interesting. Young lady is nine characters. Now we know. Unfortunate. Okay. Kabayata or something? Maybe. Oh. I don't know what it... Excuse me. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along. Man, those Ds are really throwing me off. Thank you very much, really. No, thank you. you. Helped me so much too. But are you really all right with only this? We could prepare a better reward. I'm in a hurry. Even though you probably have use for my magic, that's why I'm so happy to receive the teleport gem. Well, 
poor kid. Never even got a name. Big sis, will you come visit me again? Of course, I promise. And this time, don't mess up. Yeah. Damn, kid calling her out hard. And then she teleports to the moon by accident and dies. Oops, my shoelaces. Wonder if she'll be okay. <laughs> that was That was really awkward. Was did did the shoelace coming on time mean something? I tried to be cool about it, but I might have blown it. I don't think I'd been cursed if I'd accepted a bag lunch. That reminds me. Sylvan had breakfast yet. I'm so hungry. Uh, okay, we're established she's... I, I'm sure it'll be okay. If I get to the Valeria home, I'm sure they'll feed me. Now that that's settled, it'll be fine. Just fine. At least that's what I thought. Not the most natural flow of dialogue I've ever seen. So I'm guessing she was trying to refuse things. Apparently Blue Donna really likes both games intro music. Thank you, Blue Donna. I'm guessing... The black cat was supposed to be bad luck because she accepted an item from them. I don't know what the oops my shoelace came untied unless it's another symbol for bad luck I'm not aware of. Alright, so we have two characters left. Who's chat feeling? I think I got time for one more, then I gotta go. So we got the, I guess, split hair character. It's kind of got like an Oreo thing going on almost. We'll let chat decide. Otherwise, I'll leave young man for last. Mm-hmm. It's got some kind of... Does he have a gauntlet on? Let's go war crimes. Thank you, Murphy. Hopefully you have a good day. Let's learn about this character. Five years ago. See you around, Murphy. That's strange. I thought we chased him in here. In this weather, we even he'd be exhausted. He can't be very far. We gotta look some more. Calling a... Calling a bunch of bar guests? They'll chase him out. Escape, he says, are they gone? Tch. This reminds me of that other time. There wasn't any miserable rain then. Yes, blood did get spilled, but in an era of delusions, if someone doesn't stand up, even more blood will be shed. We'll blast on through. Don't delay a second. Good thing I didn't press the confirm button or something. It seems to be automatic. That's impossible. Why did we... No. Why'd they die for something like that? This is no time to get stingy with the ammunition. I have to survive. My name still has meaning. Oh, no. Remember, Chad, his name has meaning. <laughs> I feel like Chad is going to punish him later for that when we get to name him. Commander, the search party recovered these items from point 
12 dash SW. Posse leader. An ID card of a slay. Slayheim? Chad, it's like they want us to name this character War Crimes. <laughs> really? An ID card of Slayheim, Liberation Army soldier. Here, give it to me. They called him Brad? Chat, chat, he needs a rename. There's, we can't just call, who names their war crime character Brad? I mean, come on. This is not a fantasy name. Try again. <laughs> there we go, chat. I mean. I can even put a space if I need to. I feel like naming him War Crime, but Jack can come up with another name if they want to. I feel like this is a good placeholder. Dictionary. I can't. I, they called it Kill Helm or whatever. That's something. So, what do you think, Chan? Should we leave him as War Crime or do you want to name him something else? I do miss the random symbols, I'm not gonna lie. I totally put little stars. I, I put a little star between war and crime. <laughs> Get that little Phoenix Wright flair to it. Give Chad another moment or so, because I know there's a delay, then we'll continue onwards. His name Brad though. Thesaurus? Should name Lady? Oh no, <laughs> no, not Lady and Killer. No, I don't want to remember that game. That game was terrible. Okay, let's go. Okay, fine. We'll call him Dictionary. Does that fit? Three, four, three. I don't think it does. That's ten letters, right? Yeah, I don't think that'll fit. We call him Thesaurus. That should fit. Yeah, because you can see it's it's like literally nine. <laughs> I was doing a quick count. I'm like, dictionary could work, but yeah, it's too many letters. All right, let's call him Thesaurus. His name is meaning. There's no mistake. It's Thesaurus Evans. His name would have been Brad Evans. That's not a that's not a hero name, chat. I'm sorry. ID card. Okay. Proceed to recovery point. Must catch him before he gets through the forest. Yeah, we're not we're not doing Shadow Hearts from the New World with the names. Jeez, those are the worst unironic names I've ever seen in a game. Please do not play that game, chat. The game is a waste of time. So we have a bazooka. Iron Fist. I actually didn't call him Evan. <laughs> Would have been something. So he's got the abilities of the first game's character. So he comes with bazooka and lock on, meaning I can't miss. Okay. So I have all the healing items from the other character, at least. So we need to level at some point. So Vargax is the dog. I'm assuming we don't get any other abilities other than Bazooka. arm is ability. Are you trying to teach me about the, the abilities that I can't use yet, Helvisham? He doesn't have anything. He has lock-on and no personal skills. Well, there's a chest here. He'll be reacquired. 
I mean, if I really want to lock on with the bazooka, I can. Just sadly, got nothing of interest. wonder what this will end up being, because we can't do anything with Gusting Command. Use medium's powers. Having a metal arm is all the ability you need, that's true. So at least we outspeed. Proceed onwards. Ash Foster exposes next, something like that. Some minor healing. Bank that will acquire. Do I want to use this on him though? I think the problem is like late game we shouldn't be attacking with him at all. Probably hold on to it for the other characters. Yeah, sadly, Count Visham, as we learned, the exclamation mark just lets me get a surprise attack. It does not avoid the encounters. I might as well spite these for now. I'd like him to level once, and then we'll move on. There we go. So sadly, leveling does not restore our HP or move our current HP up in any way. Super unfortunate. So I think we went up 5 strength on that level up. Not bad. I mean, I might as well take the healing as I go along. Feels like I'm collecting coins in Mario. Oh, you can just chuck these? Damn. Doesn't even need a tool for that. Switch Millennium item just the star sap and when we get to play children's card games. I'm not sure. Oh, we can now one shot. That's actually important. I'm glad we leveled. That saves us a lot of time. So now one so if we just fight one of these, it's a free kill. We also need a motorcycle. Yeah, and I think that might be about the same speed as escaping anyway. I don't want to escape when there's two at this point. To be one shot. He'll be reacquired. Well, there's a chest up there. Or down there, I guess, since we came from there. There's no turning back once you go over this cliff. The posse is closing in. Even if I die, I can't let my name be dis dishonored. Hmm. I'm the Tsar Sevens of the Slayheim Liberation Army. I cannot delay. I must get to the other side of the forest quickly. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we get this vitality apple um I don't know if he needs it yet I'm gonna destroy all these crates because I can one item too late to name him dishonored indeed it is Ooh, the cutscene preventing the encounter thank you cutscene what who's there 
Oh, a puppy. Come on, don't bark, please. Hey, did you hear something over there? Namumi? What? I too shout Namumi whenever I get ambushed. Oh, it's just a puppy. Scared me. What a waste of time. Let's go. I'm not gonna let the others get all the credit. Say my butt, buddy. Wow, that took guts. You probably came into the forest to avoid the rain, too. Let's get out of here together. Feel very acquired. I have now acquired the power of dog. There's crates over there. Hmm. Wolf down to one shot. I think you mean wolf bout? I don't think wolf bout's happening in this game, sadly. I have encouraged Kelvisham to try Shadow Hearts too, though. Goodbye, these enemies. Maybe we'll go back to Shadow Hearts 2. It was a lot of fun. The game is utter nonsense, though. Oh. <laughs> no, it's right, chat. I'm like, I saw this and I'm like, what do you want me to do? Are you loading a cutscene? This is really awkward. Thanks, camera. Door seems to be rusted. Okay. The joys of 3D, yeah. Something like that. So we're in green hell? Is that what it said? Never really established what we're doing here. Kick boots acquired. Press square with the kick boots and shock the target. Lowering this shock will cause all kinds of things to happen. So he's got like the Cody from uh, Final Fight kick. Got it. I just kick open the gate. Was, that was very overly dramatic, I'm not gonna lie. The triple camera take. Bullet clip acquired. Okay, so I can refresh my bazooka if I need to later. But we definitely don't want to use it here if we don't need to. Yeah, take that gate. Yeah, sadly if we're running, it doesn't seem like we get the opportunity to usually surprise attack but on the plus side this is just free xp since we one shot already so i'll take this i doubt the money will be useful since it's very early on in the game but the xp could be useful if i hit level three how far off we are we from level three by the way 59 Ooh, that's not that close never mind well i'm glad i went there first Okay, a whole bunch of nothing. So what would have prevented me from going forward? Presumably there's gonna be a gate or something, right? Punish for running. We're gonna take damage this fight, sadly. Got a heal berry. I think if we get in one more fight, I'll use it. So we're still up in healing items. We have an overall net game between the characters, which is good. Wish I could run and do like a sliding kick. That would have felt pretty good, actually. Oh. 
Thanks, game. There we go. Just kick things until they work, chat. Use levers. Anything else? Not needed. I feel like we're coming up to a boss battle. Let's just take a free heal then. I don't waste time doing that later. Oh, actually, important thing. For our weapon. Uh, is there a way we can check that? I don't know if there's accuracy in this game or if it's just ammo. I don't see anything when I look at it there. Hmm. Oh, excuse me, it's not bullet load, it's or not bullet clip, it's bullet load in this game. Hmm. I'm assuming continue means I can die. I, I could continue to retry as long as I have continues. I'm assuming that's what that meant. And hopefully we don't game over here. I wonder what just ran into the forest. Dangerous criminal? Maybe a very pale degenerate. A very pale degenerate. What a weird phrase. Who knows? All I know is that we haven't been told anything and there's no need for us to know either. What would you do if he suddenly jumped out here? Wouldn't be a bad idea for us to catch him and get the credit. The reward. I'll get a horse to return to... Tibok? Or Tabak? Village. It'll end my mercenary work. If you keep babbling, the search team will beat you silly. There's no order here. Were there two sold Or were those two soldiers conscripted recently? It means there's a village nearby. What's that voice I hear? It's a monster. Even the village animals have been attacked by it. Let's get out of here. We're in over our heads. But where will we go? And how will we get there? You guys are such trouble. You, you're... Just stay down. There we go, chat. The dramatic boss reveal. Parasite colony monster, Gremelkin. Hmm. Sure, our self is short, the Sara Sevens. Lending a hand to your pursuers. Sure, I'll show you what it means to be a hero. Take care of this before the incident gets any bigger. Dramatic camera angles. So is there accuracy with this? Oh, you won't even let me use it unless I have FP. I can't just use it in general. I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that over the original. Oh, we can attack its belly? Sure, why not? Punch it in the belly. Gives me a bit of nightmare last night as a gameplay is because the surprise optional boss, that red screen. Hmm. Poor Calvisham. Oh, I'll just keep slugging in the chest. Roaring burst. Did okay damage to us, but not enough to make me stop. Chestbuster? Okay, depending on how much damage this does, I'll heal. Oh. It did, like, hilariously no damage. Sudden Seventh Moon? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Chestbuster does, like, nothing. If I get close to 50, I'll heal. Right now, I'm not gonna heal. Parasite Battalion.
Uh, this could be bad. How much is this gonna do? Oh, not that much. How do we not... Peace me out. Peace me again. How have we not destroyed the body part yet? I guess it's tankier than the other boss we fought, where it just took like two spells to kill. We've hit it four times at this point, so we did almost 20... or two... yeah, 280 or so. It's still targetable, so I didn't break it. At this point, I'm just gonna bazooka it. If it has now taken five hits and is refusing to de be destroyed, I'm just gonna lock on and destroy it. I'm not messing around with this thing. There we go, chat. Straight to the belly. Bazooka time. If that doesn't kill it, I'm gonna say the optional body parts don't feel worth it so far. So it's taken 500 something damage, good. Anyway, bazooka time. So if I really want to save bullets, I can. I'll do one more, and I'll save bullets. Because I'm not sure when we're going to get a chance to reload. But at least I can say I sped it up by like four turns. Okay, just as much as our is okay. Yeah, just... Some of the fun is a little off in this game. So I'd rather burn a healing item over burning a bullet clip. But again, it depends on how fast we're allowed to reload after we get through. Because presumably we're going to a village. This boss is doing very low damage, so at this point I might as well just melee him to death. Even if it takes like three more turns. But I want to make sure we at least bazooka once. Yeah, there we go. So I saved a bazooka bullet. Goodbye, boss. 100 XP, 500 money. Okay, that's kind of worth it. Hit level 3, big berry acquired. You saved us? Hey. Lassie leader says, "His fighting is even more powerful than it is, or excuse me, than it was rumored to be. I don't know if our forces are strong enough to defeat him." There's a village on the other side of the forest, right? I've got an idea. Wait, the Sar Sevens. Wait, the sorry seven? Okay. Well. Hopefully we'll get an opportunity to save sort of early in this person's story. We'll see. I'm out of the forest. I need a place to hide. What about that place? Oh, weird. Oh, hold on. It's telling me a lot of stuff that I missed. North Cape, Tabak Village, East Great Plains. It's telling me if I hit square, I can search around me for items. I was just, I was hoping to go back to the other explanation, but that's fine. There we go, chat. Find those items with square. Tabak Village, due northwest from here. Wait, can I dodge encounters by doing that? If so, that's kind of sick. I'd really prefer not to do encounters. 
Yeah, I think we're avoiding encounters by me spamming that. That's actually pretty unfair for them. I mean, I'm okay with this. Just which, look what happens when I don't press it. So now we have an encounter dodging move, but only in the overworld. Sorry, Balloon. At some point I need to heal. We'll take another fight here, I guess. Stone acquired. And what does stone do? Shooting item level one. Okay. Easy heal item on herself. I'm just looking to see if there's any hidden goodies, since apparently we can make signs get revealed with it. In a witch. Resistance apple acquired. Or response, excuse me. Okay, so there are items in the overworld, but we need this ability to find them. It's like I'm mixed on it. It's okay. I'm more happy that I could avoid overworld encounters. So I find that very tedious in those games. Even if there's a lot of them, it's fine. It looks like the encounter rate might be slightly higher in the forest. You can see it trying to do a fight with me and I'm like, no. What is this? How do we not notice a village? <laughs> what? Why do I need the search ability for the village? Is it that hidden? I mean, look how tall it is. Also, we're kind of like Godzilla walking into this town. I I don't know how I don't know why we would need to do this to find a village, but okay. I guess we're here. So, this is it. I have no words. Yeah, there's some things you should just be able to find. I'm just saying. It felt like a really unneeded mechanic. It's one thing if it's like a random item of the overworld or whatever, but like literally a whole village. What is he related to Maya and Phoenix, right? Just can't see anything. I'm so glad you woke up. Oh, thankfully we named the other person girl too, or else we'd be very confused right now. You were sleeping so deeply, I thought you'd never wake up. Where am I? You're in Tabak Village, in a stable. But all the horses are gone. My name's Meryl. Now can I ask you something? Is this puppy your friend? Wow, no, isn't he from here? Wow. That's, that's so rude, chat. Well, I'm going to say we just found him. It's a very smart dog. He's the one who told me you were passed out in the rain. What's the dog's name? Oh, no. It's checking the village name. It's called Rasu? Wait, chat, you, you can't just be like, my name is Brad. Brad Evans. And then you put Rasu? These are not even in like the same remote scale. But anyway, Chad, name the dog. <laughs> yeah, Lilica Rasu Brad, yeah. <laughs> well, if Chad doesn't have a name... <laughs> not Gassiu. I could call him... Call him Brad, oh no. Oh no, I was gonna call him good boy. Okay, well, Brad it is. Brad the dog. It is unanimous. Two people said it. That's pretty much unanimous. So your name is Brad. I like that name. 
I'm sorry, but I have to leave this village right away. Why? You still need to rest. Wait, I'll get you something to eat. You're not afraid of me? Brad says you're not a bad man. Isn't that right, Brad? Hey, you can't do that in this village. Our intention was not to cause such a stir. What we do is for the sake of your village. Stay here, mister. Don't worry, Brad and I will stay with you. Damn, that feeling when the dog has a name and you don't. That's the pecking order, chat. With the camera angle there, it's reminding me of Final Fantasy Tactics a little for some reason. Meryl says, there aren't any bad people in this village. At least our name is meaning it's true. Posse leader says, hiding him will only bring your village misfortune. Surely you realize that. Hey, mister. My name's not mister. Sucks. It makes me sound old. I think the white hair would make you look old first, but whatever. So there you are. So it's you, Thesaurus Evans. I came to deliver something that you lost. Should I named him Mr. Maybe. So, you want to take us on? That's fine by me. I realize that innocent villagers may be hit by stray bullets. Seize him! Girl, Mr. Dog and Boy, oh no. I'm sorry we have to do this, we're all from the village. And then as soon as we go outside of town, we kill those two recruits. <laughs> right, chat? Just quick, give them a quick little snap. <laughs> was, that a, was that man a bad man? A bad man? <laughs> You got it all wrong. Now listen, young lady, that man is a hero. A hero? <laughs> Perhaps it's better this way. All I know is fighting. Kept on going, all I'd find is more blood and death. That sounds like an average, average day with Twitch chat. <laughs> There are few places for someone whose only true home is on the battlefield. I'll consider this a vacation. After all, heroes are needed once the shooting stops. If peace means a world that needs no heroes, then that has to be better. Okay, oh so we're getting a chance to save. I think I do need to stop here though, chat. So let's let's collect our thoughts so far. How do we feel about the game? It's definitely I don't know. I don't know if I like the full transition to 3D yet. I mean, at least we're seeing that like instead of having limited resources, there's renewable resources, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I don't like that a lot of our combat, we just can't do our main ability. Like, it's one thing if we can't just spam our strongest spell, but, like, we're so early in that we can't even cast a single spell, which is kind of ridiculous. And I'm hoping as we get a little bit further, maybe we'll be able to do something more with our different, uh... I guess custom commands and see what they do, what that means. Maybe that'll add a little more variety to it. Yeah, I think we'll we'll continue for now. But sadly, not for today. You don't know what the first one is like, so you know frame of reference. Well, we just beat the first one. So if you are interested, that will be completely up on YouTube, as, think, as of the time of this particular stream. Chris says, Millennium Puzzle Dungeon was a bit of an oof, but the 3D doesn't seem so bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll see where it goes. I, I kind of like the, the pseudo 3D, where the character models were in 3D and everything else was pretty much straightforward. I'm not sure how I feel about the camera rotations and things like that, but I guess we'll see as time goes on. But sadly, I uh, don't think I have enough time. 
if we had ended maybe like 15 minutes earlier, I would have done the other character. But I think we'll save that for next week. So let's let's continue for now. And then we'll see. Maybe they'll have multiple characters beyond the three, given that they have a change party system. And see how the combat feels once we get a full party. But for now, uh, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point, the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.